Welcome to the Synet Sports tutorials on the basic features of your website's administration capabilities. Hi, I'm Owen Bergen, and I've been a Synet Sports customer for the last six years as the owner of SaintAlbertSportsFan.com. This is the website that's featured here in this tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to kind of give you an overview of the content on your site and some of the capabilities that you will have as the administrator of this site. There's quite a bit to go over, and as you can see, a lot of content, but relax. It's not that hard to maintain on a day-to-day -day basis. I take less than 15 minutes a day to update some of the content on this site, and by the end of these tutorials, you will be able to do that in about the same amount of time. Of course, the more you do it, the better you get. Every web page consists of content that can be changed by you, the administrator, or the people that you have assigned certain administrative levels. Some of the content, like the main header or the structure of the web page, can only be changed by our IT department. And that is the structure or the shell of the web page and what I mean by that is where the stuff actually is. The links and the individual pages are over here on the left. The advertisers are over here on the right. Our IT department after you submit a work order within 24 hours will make the changes to your website and that's a guarantee. Some of the other stuff that you can do of course update content for daily schedules, weekly schedules, update pictures that you show on your website, highlighting certain players or events that your school is going to be uh, either just had done or is upcoming. Another good uh, popular feature about these websites is the ability to post articles from local newspapers, radio stations and such and uh, really brings the repeat customers back day after day. Your website creates a central point for the parents and students to keep up to date on all the team information and uh, we do that by allowing you, the administrator, to update schedules also update content on the individual seasons and the individual uh, links that you have within your school. I like the feature of updating the pictures on a day-to-day -day basis. Here you see some pictures that were taken at the baseball game last night and we had them updated and posted on our website this morning. Keeping the content current is very important for your customers and that's very important to your advertisers as well. Some of the other things that are really good features about this website is the live audio and video webcasting. It allows those who are unable to be there in person to actually watch or listen to the sporting events while in the archived or the video broadcast, which you see here on the left in the highlighted areas. Those archived audio and video broadcasts will remain on your site for a four years. They are rotated through on a every four year basis. The searchable articles and announcements can be posted with ease. There's even an area for select sports participants to update an online journal or blog. Great for your high school journalism class. An assignment or two a year really helps keep the content updated. The administrative part we will get to in our next tutorial and we'll actually show you, take you through the steps on how to upload pictures, how to post content, how to change the look of your website by keeping the articles and pictures updated, how to log on, and how to change your password and some other features like that. So stay with us to the rest of the tutorials. We uh, like your feedback and comment and you can contact us by the contact information that is located at the bottom of every web page. We'll see you in the next video. I'm Owen Bergen and thanks for watching.